my six pack. Whoa. <laughs> and, um, but you know what? It's, it's, it's um, getting into the gym. I definitely work out all, uh, all, uh, quite a bit. And uh, I get to the gym when I can. Um, and I try to give back to um, share a little bit of my knowledge to the young up and comers uh, today in the gym when I do see them. So if I go down to Bram League Boxing Club and some of the kids are working out, I will definitely try to shed a light on the stuff that they're doing, whether they're doing it right or whether they're doing it wrong, and try to help them in that sense. <laughs>
than to work as an amateur. Because amateur, the, the game kept on switching. Okay. The style of fighting kept on switching. So amateur was a little bit more unpredictable. Yes, amateur was unpredictable because of the years I spent as an amateur. Like I said, I, I, I started off with where it was uh, three, three minutes. And it, was, it wasn't a point system. Then they switched it later on in 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 in, in the amateur game into um, into a, a point system, and then one time they were scoring straight punches, the other time they were scoring body shots. So I had to make adjustments to all of that, and um, because I was able to make the adjustments, it made my my style of fighting so much better. And um, so now you've accomplished a lot. Not only as an amateur, but as a professional, Canadian champion, cruiserweight champion, um, Commonwealth cruiserweight champion. You challenged for a world title, title twice in in two very hotly uh, disputed um, decisions, and um, now you're going to be inducted into the Ontario Boxing Hall of Fame in 2017. How do you feel about that? And how do you feel about just inductions in general? I feel, I feel, I feel wonder, wonderful. It's a, it's a pleasure to actually be recognized as. Um, as as a, as an amateur fighter, yet a, a a good professional fighter, because of me being in the sports and the so many things that I've done in the sports throughout my amateur career and brought back medals to this country, and as a professional winning winning, winning titles, I never got the world title. I should have got the world title, but I didn't. But um, to be recognized as to be inducted into the boxing Ontario Boxing Hall of Fame. That's recognition enough, and um, I thank everyone for nominating me to be in that, um, to be in, in to, to actually be recognized as an amateur fighter because it makes it makes me feel so much better because um, I felt like my accomplishments were not lost. What I'm focusing on is um, I have a Montessori school called McLean's Learning Academy. We have over 100 kids registered into the program. And uh, just watching them grow and develop and watching them graduate from my school and then moving on to uh, either jun uh, junior kindergarten, senior kindergartens, or going into grade one. That's, what I'm, that's, that's, that's my uh, encouragement in itself and just giving back to them. Thanks to Troy uh, for the interview and for leading by example and giving back to the sport, giving back to the youth in our community. Remember, you can ask us any question related to boxing by sending us a message through Twitter at D-O-K-P-O-S-I-O -O, or through email, akposio at hotmail.com. Thanks for tuning into this episode, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.